Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say you want to only have colors in a certain region. You know, well, let's start, let's start doing something. Say you want to switch colors multiple times on one row. This is where carrying is also helpful. So you got these over. So you're going, let's do one, two, three, four, and I believe I have 18 here. I think I have 18 stitches. Let's see if I have 18. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I have 24. I lied. Either way, it still works. Say I have, I have 24 stitches and one, two, three, four. What I want to do is every six stitches or so, I want to change color. So what we're going to do is one, two, three, four. And then with five, let's grab the right yarn. We'll grab this. See how I got the yellow or the gold, orange right here over it? I feed my blue in to carry it. But I'm not changing over. I make sure there's slack. So you want to make sure there's some slack there. And then I'm going to swap colors right here. So I need to do okay. See how you gotta kind of it's it's interesting when you finger changing here. But you switch over that way. So see how I got the orange carried on the fifth stitch. I I want to change every six stitches rough or whatever, you know, on the sixth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that I'll do, you know, some oranges here and all that. But I carried the orange up to the fifth stitch right here, tied it in so it's not all over, made sure it's kind of loose, but it's right there then ready for me to go into my next color stitch right there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Make sure the blue is on the other side, which it is, because you always want the yarn you're not working on the inside so you can then use it as you go. Otherwise, it's going to be hanging out here and it's going to just get in the way. See how it's on that? See, this is the good side. It's got all the nice stitches and stuff like that, whereas this is the funky mess that you got going right here. But it's going to be enclosed, so nobody's ever going to see it, so nobody cares. So let's go to this. We'll do one. I'm going kind of fast on these because they're just single crochets. You should all know how to do a single crochet by now. And so I don't have to go over that part. It's the color changing. One, two, three, four. And then we want five to be carried over. So we cover the blue over. Stick it through there. Do our regular orange stitch like normal. So the blue is ready for us. You know, you're just carrying it around. And now we're going to do our regular... You know, take your blue and... Put it on the outside really quick, and then you do your orange stitch. Hey, I remember what color it is. Pull it over, bring the orange color through, and finish your stitch off with the blue yarn. Like that. See? And now you're back onto blue. If I can figure out how to do it. And let's go. One. Two three and take a look see how it's kind of tight right here this is why you want to have as much slack you don't I'm probably not putting as much slack as I should but it's still okay because it's you can see how it's 
just a little square. But it'll be fine. You know, it's just, you keep the slack in there just for uh, making it easier on your lives. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then we want to carry it over. Five. That needs a little more slack. So you have to be ready, you have to be willing to give up that extra, you know, you might want to have some extra yarn stored away somewhere. And then you got the, which color are we switching to? Yellow or orange? Okay. So get that one out of the way. No, that's fine. We got that. Bring the blue over. Bring the orange in, and you're just carrying it over that way. Make sure the blue is tucked in on this side again. And we'll go back to orange. Grab the yarn here and carry it through again, like that. Pull it through so it's just carried by the yarn right there and held. If you want to say held, you can say held it too. Make sure it's got some slack in there. And then you finish off with your regular stitch like this. You get your orange, bring it around. Then you have blue, and you're done. So there's that. Now what I'm going to do next is, you know, see how I'm also running the pink all the way up? The, don't tie it in. I tied mine in, uh, one of them in, and it was a pain in the butt getting the knot, uh, knots out. Uh, just a really quick, but see, you can see how it's just doing a running stitch count right there. And it just makes your life a lot easier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a round of blue. And to demonstrate another option you can do for color changing. Like say if you only want uh, colors on one side. You know, so this side would all be blue and that side would all be orange or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as another video to make it a little easier for you. Okay? Alright, be back in a minute. 